What's going on guys? This is Sydney Company once again with yet another makeup video. Alright, so this makeup was done on my roommate Rob Venter. He's another makeup artist. Um, I, I sort of got inspired to do a Guardians of the Galaxy makeup. I've been wanting to do one forever uh, and I just decided, hey, I'm going to do it now. And I really want to do something really bright, really colorful blue because um, I, I don't do a lot like that. So uh, here's the video right here. I hope you guys enjoy it. I'm going to try to talk you guys through it. Um, so let's do it. What's going on guys? Looks like I'm going to run you through this Guardians of the Galaxy Ravager makeup that I did on my roommate Rob Vinter. Um, I just got inspired one day to do, do this makeup so I uh, hope you guys I like the video because here it goes. Alrighty so what I'm doing here is I'm, uh, I'm basically sealing the prosthetic with Thomas Serpentine Pax Paint. And I like to do uh, purpley undertones. Um, so I thought the purple, the darker purple undertones would be kind of cool to do with a blue character. And of course, I, I uh, always love to use uh, purple. And uh, so here it goes. I'm using actually a, a Delium Tools stipple brush, a medium one. Another one of my favorite brushes to use. <coughs> Just covering the whole thing because you have to seal foam latex um, before you uh, paint with alcohol colors on it. Now I'm doing a dry brush technique right here with some, uh, this is actually Mel's Pax Paint. It's a different formula, but uh, I had this really bright blue colors that are baby blue colors that I really like, so I decided to use them. And I'm just using a sponge to dry brush, meaning that I'm just going over, hitting the high points, leaving the low points purple. And I'm just covering the whole thing in this. Remember, stay away from the edges when you're pre-painting these prosthetics, especially with packs, or else you're going to glue it down on whatever you're painting on, or you're going to mess up the edges. Don't do that. So now I'm hitting uh, the high points again with more of a green, like mint color. I just want to give this prosthetic like levels of color that really bring it to life and make it look like flesh. So I use like a, a vein blue and then now I mint green color and these two colors are Mel's Pax Paints. First layer was Thomas Serpentine Pax Paint, so the purple was Tom's. So now I'm hitting it with a haze of vein tone. The vein tone is by European Body Arts. Just sort of merging everything together, giving it uh, a, a uniform look. Just a light haze to sort of uh, make the, uh, the purple underneath less obvious. Now I'm hitting it with a little bit of purple, hitting some of those, uh, 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 hitting the, the horns and different areas of the face, wrinkles and stuff with a little bit of contusion purple, another color that I like to use from uh, European body art. And I'm using my Epic Dat airbrush right there. That's, what, that's my favorite airbrush to use. So I'm going over the lips with the purple, the horns, around the nose. So now I'm using the Guardians of the Galaxy palette from PPI and I'm just using the black to paint the horns. I want the the sort of underneath of the under, undertone, I guess you would say, of the horns to be black. And now I'm dry brushing over the horns a green, like a really dark green Pax from Thomas Serpentine with a sponge. I'm just sponging it so that you can see the black streaks underneath. Just a light touch of it. I'm not covering the whole uh, horn. I'm just uh, sort of just dry brushing over it. And it gives it dimension. It makes it makes it look more like a horn. So this is my roommate Rob Venter, a Swedish guy wearing a American flag T-shirt. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so I'm starting down the center of the face. I already put his contacts in. You want to start from the center and work your way out when you apply one of these prosthetics. So I glued his eyebrows straight down his forehead and on his nose. And then I'm lifting up the piece and sort of tacking it down. I like to work around the eyes first, of course, um, and then make sure it's uh, positioned around the eyes really well. So that's what I'm doing here. And I'm using Prosade right here. I like to use Prosade uh, because of Prosade, you can lay it down when it's sort of damp and then you can lift it back up and maneuver it. And I'm also using the Delium Tool Bent Liner Brush. That is my favorite glue brush to use. <coughs> All right, I'm just now I'm just lifting up edges. Now that I got his eyes glued down, I'm lifting up edges and laying it down. I'm trying to save his mouth for last, really. 
because this prosthetic doesn't fit him awesome. So I'm trying to stretch it in different areas and, and trying to make it work to where I can make his make the lips match up. And uh, his head's just a little bit more compact uh, for the actual prosthetic. The prosthetic is a generic prosthetic, so you just gotta make it work. So now I'm gluing around the eyes. I'm just stippling. I'm trying to blend it in, blend the around the eyes into the actual skin by stippling on some Prosade with a brush. And I'm letting that dry. I should, probably should be yelling at him right now. Keep your eyes closed, but he, he's also a makeup artist, so he knows what he's doing. All right, I'm probably gonna powder. Yep, there I go, and I powdered the eyes. Make sure you can open and close his eyes really well, so no lashes are, are um, gonna be glued. So now it looks like I'm going over the edges around the prosthetic by stippling a little bit of Prosade and locking it down. I'm doing it with a sponge and with a brush. Stippling a little bit of Prosade over the edges with a brush is just gonna texture it onto the skin uh, much better. So now I'm gluing down the, um, the horns on top of his head, on the sides of his head. Um, it's uh, lucky enough that Rob has this great haircut so that I can glue him up there. I actually made him shave before we did this. <laughs> Get some of that hair off so it would be nice smooth skin to work with. And I just tacked down these uh, horns and I just laid them. And the horns aren't fully painted like I did the other horns, but I will eventually get to them. And so they're glued down, I powdered them, and we're all, and I just powdered them up there just so the hair wouldn't stick into it. If the hair got into it, it wouldn't stick. So I decided to go with some ear tips. These are very small ear tips, really easy to lay down, right on top of the ear. And, uh, and then I stip a little bit of prosade over the edges just so I can blend it out. Same with this one, put a little bit of prose down, lay the ear tip down, and then just stipple it around the edges, glue it down, because fallen latex is a sponge. If you stipple on the edges, the edges will glue themselves down, basically. Um, because it is sponge, it will absorb the prose and lay it down. That's only with thin edges, so keep that in mind. If, the thicker ed the, if it's thick, it's not, gonna, it's not gonna absorb through it. All right, so now I am blending the prosthetic into the skin, so I'm going over the edge. This is when you go over the edge, when you start blending into the skin, because this will lock it down, you'll be able to blend it better. Um, so do not go over the edges when you're pre-painting. If you pre-paint, don't go over the edges. So I'm using that purple, I'm just slipping around, and again, this, uh, if you're using Pax Paint that you make, you might not want to go all over the skin with it. Thomas Serponaut Pax is easier to get off, if you're doing it out of acrylic and prosade, it gets kind of a good bond. Um, Thomas Serponaut Packs is one bond. It's cosmetic grade pigments and beta bond, so it, it, it it's easier to get off. Uh, that's all there is to it. And there's no chance of poisoning because it's cosmetic grade pigments, so you do not have to worry about that. And I'm using the medium or the small stipple brush by Delium Tool. Um, Delium Tools are really great brushes. And I'm going over the lips, going around the eyes, around this whole prosthetic. I'm gonna go onto his neck too. I think I'm gonna use a sea sponge for that. But I'm getting as close to the hairline as possible. Um, and now I'm going over it with the vein blue uh, by Mel. Um, Mel's uh, has uh, their own line of uh, packs. It is a stronger bond, but because I've already put Tom's down, I'm just gonna go over it with uh, the Mel packs. Just stippling it on with a stipple brush. Now I'm using a sea sponge to finish everything else, to just texture it out, get that blue on there. I am gonna go over this with airbrush, so I'm gonna blend it all together and make it look awesome. <clears throat> stippling right next to the hairline, trying to get it up to it, um, just to order to disguise the scalp color. But I will also finish that off with airbrush. Going around the eyes a little bit with it. A little washy, I think I watered this down. I didn't want to go too thick around the eyes, so I really watered it down, because you can thin out packs with water. It's water soluble. Now I think I'm going over with a mint green um, color that I went in with, and it's just sort of hitting some areas, stippling it on. Not going too crazy with it. I'm just doing a little bit uh, to really make it match the prosthetic. Now I'm going around the eyes with, this is the Ben Nye Bruise Wheel. Doing some purple around the eyes right here with a uh, liner brush. 
And as you can see, it's really harsh. Then I go in with the uh, finger brush by Dell M Tools and blend it out. The finger brush is a really great tool to get around the eyes. I sometimes use it near the ears too, but the, the finger brush is great for around the eyes. I love it. And as you can see now, it's really starting to pop those contacts that I got in. And uh, let's see, now I'm starting to airbrush. I think I'm using the uh, Vein Tone by European Body Art. And I'm blending it in, I'm going over the ears, uh, softening that purple, going into the hairline to sort of blend it into the hair. Now I'm going in with some contusion or purple. This is by European Body Art as well. I'm hitting the tips of the ears, around the eyes, nose, the, uh, the mouth. So I'm gonna be doing the lips with it. And I'm doing some squigglies all around just to model a little bit, to sort of make it look more like flesh. A little bit of purple into the skin. Um, just, you know, move around. I am using the, if I didn't say, I'm using the Epic Dad Airbrush by um, uh, European Body Art as well. Alrighty, so I'm still airbrushing. I put a little bit more purple there in the hairline. So I am going around the lips with that uh, purple. And yeah, there we go. And you want to make sure if you're going around the nose and mouth, you tell them to take a deep breath in and then you do it. So now I'm spattering with this new spatter brush that I got. Uh, it's not as well, it's relatively new. I've used it in a couple of makeups already. But on uh, this spatter brush, it, it's amazing. You get it from Harbor Freight. You guys take a, uh, take a look at Harbor Freight, maybe online, or if you're in California, go to Harbor Freight. This spatter brush is amazing. So I'm going in with a spatter of vein tone, contusion, and a flesh color. So I'm doing those three, and is, is, you do enough of that, it's gonna break everything up, any harsh lines that you have, and it's really gonna make it look way more like flesh. So this is a pretty cool um, spatter brush. You just turn the pressure way down on it and let it go, and it will make everything, it'll blend everything together and make it look awesome. So that's what I'm doing. And then if you get two of heart, like if there's dots on there that are too harsh, you can tap them away like I'm doing there with a little sponge. I'm sort of just tapping some of those dots. If they're too heavy, I just tap them away. And now he's really starting to look like a Guardians character. You can see it now, you know? So now I'm using the Guardians of the Galaxy palette by PPI and this, um, I, I'm only using the, the blackout of it just as the undertones for the um, uh, or the detail under underneath for the horns. And then I'm gonna go over it with the packs again to, to um, really make it pop, the green packs. I don't know what made me really pick this dark green. I just really liked it when I saw it. And uh, all of this, this whole makeup was sort of on the go. Um, I didn't really plan much of it out. I just really wanted to do something really bright blue. So there it is, I'm dry brushing a little bit of that green packs and using a Dellium tool brush to sort of finish it off. I'm just over it so that the black will show through, the detail in the sculpt of the horn will show through and you'll see like the black lines underneath it. And I'm still going in with the horns. So now I'm cleaning off the other horns. Uh, I think the other horns got too much spatter on them so I'm using a little bit of alcohol just to clean those off just to clean them off just a little bit, using a little bit of alcohol. <clears throat> and yep, I'm just cleaning them, still cleaning them. And then I'm gonna go in with the green again and hit them with a little bit more of that green packs, really make them pop like the other ones. As you can see, I dry brushed a little bit over it right there. Alrighty. Still doing it just a little bit, making it pop. He's looking pretty good right now. So now I'm using some Glisten Up by Thomas Serpinot to shine up those horns. And so I'm shining the horns with that Glisten Up by Thomas Serpinot. And I'm also gonna stipple on the skin on the, yeah, so I'm gonna stipple it all over the face a little bit. This is really watered down. I watered it down a lot. I wanna make the skin look really translucent. So that's what this is gonna do. This is gonna put that little bit of shine the skin has and it's gonna make it look translucent. So this is the final look. I, I really think it came out very Guardians of the Galaxy S, at least I hope it did. So uh, I hope you guys got something out of this video. This makeup was super fun. Rob had a good time. Um, we just had some random wardrobe laying around that we sort of threw on them. You know, it looked a little bit like Guardians. 
And uh, I, ho I, hope, you know, I hope you guys got something out of this. I do these videos for you. And make sure you subscribe and share these videos. The more you share, the more I can do these videos. So uh, thanks, guys. Until next time, catch you later.